second sentence of the document reads, Since the church is in Christ like a sacrament or a sign and instrument, both of a very closely knit union with God and of the unity of the whole human race, and it goes on. church 
church is in us only to the extent that our faith more than action forges our being. Sorry, but forges our being. Indeed, God forges our being as the church, and faith is what actively lets him do it. from 
Because of this, there would be no aspiring to holiness, if there were no calling to holiness. And no one could strive to obtain holiness if there were not given him or her by the only source of holiness that exists. In this way, the universal call to holiness emphasizes something that was already found in the first chapters of Women Genesis, that the truest and profoundest way of understanding the Church comes from contemplating her from the vantage is that space in the world for God, where He can dwell freely, so that the world becomes His kingdom. As Pope Benedict said last week, holiness shows the true face of the Church. It introduces God's eternal today into the today of our lives, and of the man of our time. In the Church, God is made present in man, receives his presence. This reception is not merely passive. On the contrary, it involves our highest activity and cooperation, developing that love that God infuses in the soul that we call charity by our actions in order to become friends of God. Every human being yearns for complete happiness. That is why even though many are not aware of it, Every human being yearns for something that they can only find in God. In this quest, man cannot be successful unless he is aided by God himself, which is what God has always intended to do. In every single human being, there is an aptitude to be helped by God, and it is actualized when he or she encounters grace and truth and receives it. The core of the soul has been made to enter into a relationship with God, and it is there that the most fundamental choices are made by each person. Beyond the cultural wrappings, every human being has been made to receive Christ, and he does not cease to look for each one of them. His church is his instrument. of God. 
the sacrifice of our Lord. This self-offering of Christ has a double purpose, to give glory to God and to effect our salvation. However, these two purposes are inextricably bound, because we are required to cooperate in our salvation by offering our own sacrifice to God.
consider 